Hello, Night Owls. I hope you're having a good night so far. Tonight we are reading Go to Sleep, Little Farm by Mary Lynn Ray, with art by Christopher Silas Neal. Somewhere a bee. Makes a bed in a rose. Because the bee knows, day has come to a close. Somewhere a beaver weaves a bed in a bog. Somewhere a bear finds a bed in a log. Somewhere gray mice hide their bed under roots, safe from the owl who hoo hoo hoots. Somewhere a fox calls her pups to their den, as somewhere shadows tuck a house in. Cows and horses on the hill hear their pasture grow more still. Chickens roost where chickens will. Now that the day and sun have gone, quiet spreads and evening comes on, speckled with stars like the spots on a fawn, and somewhere someone yawns a small yawn. Already, trees sleep the way that trees sleep. Brown rabbits snuggle in a sleepy rabbit heap. All around, dusk turns to night. Time for a father to turn off the light. Now the fish lie still in a brook. Somewhere a story goes to sleep in a book. Somewhere a worm sleeps in the dirt. Somewhere a pocket sleeps in a skirt. Even small breezes sleep in the skies. And somewhere a mother says, close your eyes. Then somewhere a secret curls in an ear, just as dreams flicker near. Some for each rabbit, each mouse, and each fox. Some for the minutes that sleep inside clocks. Some for the slippers asleep on a rug, and some for someone who gets one more hug. Now is the dark time, now night has come. Now is the time that dreams bloom from. So go to sleep, little fish. Go to sleep, little farm. Go to sleep, woolly sheep, back in the barn. Go to sleep, beaver. Go to sleep, little dear. Quiet is the night now. Go to sleep, little ear. The end.